It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 19th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays pretty quiet this week. Noticeably cooler Wednesday and a chance of frost on the ground early Thursday morning. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Got a trough beginning to form over the Great Lakes in the upper Midwest. That'll be digging southward in coming days. But a beautiful day today. There's the visible satellite view. The sky sunny across Alabama and the deep south. Temperatures are still below average. Many spots only in the upper 60s, around 230. Birmingham at 67, Anniston 69, Tuscaloosa 70. Around the nation, we have freeze watches and warnings in effect all the way from North Texas to the southern Great Lakes for that cold air coming in. Winter weather advisories for parts of Colorado, Wyoming, and some of the adjacent states. And again, that map looks more like winter instead of spring. A couple of marginal risks of severe storms through tonight. One around the Outer Banks of North Carolina and one over South Florida. Tomorrow, again, a marginal risk of severe storms for parts of South Florida. And day three, which is Wednesday, a marginal risk for parts of the Atlantic coast from near Virginia Beach up to New York City. Rain for the next seven days. We'll see rain coming back as the weekend begins on Saturday. Rain amounts between one and two inches for much of the state. And we'll talk about that event in just a moment. But let's go through modeling. Model fans, here's the GFS, the 12Z run ballot tomorrow afternoon at 4. You can see the trough developing north of the state and a cold front pushing southwards. Snow developing back in the cold air from near Tulsa to St. Louis to Indianapolis. But for us, tomorrow should be a nice day. Partly sunny, highs in the mid-70s. Cold front coming through in dry fashion late tomorrow night, early Wednesday morning. There might be a sprinkle over the Tennessee Valley, and that's about it. The day Wednesday should be partly to mostly sunny, breezy, and noticeably cooler, with highs between 55 and 60 over the northern half of the state. That's about 20 degrees below average. These are the anomalies for Wednesday. Much of the United States with a chill in the air. And this is Thursday, again Thursday morning. Many locations over north and central Alabama will wind up in the 30s with a chance of light frost with a clear sky and light wind. Some of the really colder pockets may be touching the freezing mark. Then during the day, the sky's sunny, the high in the low 60s. And Friday, the sky mostly sunny, the high close to 70, rain off to the west. And that rain comes in here Saturday. Uh, the GFS depicting the surface low near Montgomery, the European with a surface low that's east of Nashville. And the European also shows some surface-based instability. So again, there's some model inconsistency here. But if the European solution is correct, there certainly could be some strong storms on Saturday. But one way or the other should be a pretty good rain event. Rain amounts on Saturday between 1 and 2 inches. And then for Sunday, it's out of here and we are dry. Uh, the sky becoming partly to mostly sunny with highs in the 70s. And a week from today, Monday the 26th, ridging building in. And that should be a sunny day with a high not too far from 80. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, April 29th. Southwest flow aloft and the cold front pushing through with a band of showers. But that would not be a severe weather look if by chance that verifies. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble between now and the 5th of May. Rain amounts to the mean there about 3 inches. Temperatures, there's the cool down on Wednesday, the high dropping to 61. This is Birmingham, again based on the national blend of models. And for the city, Birmingham, we've got 40 early Thursday morning, but many spots will be in the mid to upper 30s with a chance of frost. But then next week we go into the low 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's the latest CPC outlook. This is for April 27th through May 3rd, just in. And if this verifies, temperatures would be a little above average here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.